Since 1903, when the Wright brothers flew the first aircraft, the aviation industry has grown in leaps and bounds. The insufficiency of qualified engineers to maintain and invent new aircraft models is being experienced the world over, and Africa is no exception. Aeronautical engineering is one of the um, oldest areas of engineering today, and one of the best established uh, to the extent that we have had uh, aircraft flying, there's been a need for engineers to look, first of all, uh, after the aircraft that are flying in terms of maintenance, and then to design and uh, manufacture new aircraft. Over the years, there have been tremendous increase in the need for air travel uh, for both passengers, cargo, and the general commercial goods across the continent across many cities in the world. And on a typical day, millions of aircraft hours are spent uh, transversing the globe uh, in all directions. The Technical University of Kenya is the only regional institution of higher learning offering aeronautical engineering at undergraduate level. Uh, in Kenya, we are the first university to offer degree programs in uh, aeronautical engineering. And uh, this is based on the tradition of this institution uh, when it was a Kenya Polytechnic that uh, it always offered programs in uh, aircraft uh, maintenance engineering. And it is out of this program that we created the aeronautical engineering program at the degree level, uh, I think beginning with uh, 2011. The uniqueness of the aeronautical uh, engineering program which is run at the Technical University of Kenya, uh, originate uh, with two points. One in technology, the second origin of that complica uh, complexity or uniqueness is uh, originates with the industry. And what is aeronautical engineering? Aeronautical engineering is a six-year degree program that is all about how planes work, what gets them off the ground, what keeps them there, what allows them to turn and accelerate, to gain and lose altitude. The aircraft technologically must be very complex. It is very complex. If you can imagine an aircraft flying 8,000 kilometers and with no navigation of aids at 40, uh, navigation, visual navigation of uh, aids at uh, 40,000 feet, sometimes at night, one can appreciate that this machine can fly that high and also fly in the dark, so to speak, from one continent to the next. So the level of technology must be sophisticated enough to be able for that to happen. So you'll find that you need to learn, as a student, for example, uh, things like aerodynamics, for example, the structure of the aircraft, uh, the navigation and communication aids that will allow this heavy machine, so to speak, carrying hundreds of passengers and cargo from one continent to the next, from one airport, like JFK to Nairobi, uh, in, in, here in Kenya. Areas topics cover in aeronautical and aviation engineering include design, construction, propulsion, material science, navigation systems, avionics, aerodynamics, and air traffic control management. The aeronautical engineering program, first of all, is treated like uh, any other engineering program that is offered uh, in this country and indeed uh, elsewhere in the world. Typically, to, to be admitted into an engineering program anywhere in the world, you need good grades in the sciences and particularly in mathematics and physics. and. Uh, and chemistry and other related uh, science areas like, uh, like geography, uh, which is very important in aeronautical engineering in terms of navigation and aviation. Now, you will require to have scored uh, good grades in, uh, in these subject areas. And in Kenya just now, because we are the only people offering programs in, well, uh, we're one. We're, we're the first people to offering. Let me say to offer uh, a degree program in aeronautical engineering. The competition is very, very tight. First of all, ourselves into the Bachelor of Engineering program, we have a very restricted capacity. We don't take 
more than 30 students into that class. So that brings in already very tight competition, 30 students a year. And yet, there are very many young people leaving our high schools who would like to come to, uh, uh, to the Technical University of Kenya to study aeronautical engineering. So competition is very tight. And for that reason, on the average, the student who comes into this program, particularly through government sponsorship, has to have had an average of A- in the KCSE examination. So if you don't have an A-, you can come in to, into the Bachelor of Engineering program, but that will depend on the competition. The university has qualified lecturers with practical experience in the aviation industry. The university also has training equipment such as aircraft engines and simulators. Technical University of Kenya's linkages with General Electric GE, Kenya Airways, Boeing and Airbus. The linkages also offer internship opportunities and practical training for our students to interact with the best in the industry. We are one of the institutions in this country uh, with a, a huge aircraft engine just dedicated to the training of students in uh, aeronautical engineering. We also have uh, a simulator here uh, for again for the same for the same purpose and for a number of uh, areas within aeronautical engineering. We also collaborate um, with other departments in the university. Aeronautical engineering is a very uh, broad-based discipline contrary to what people think. You need knowledge from mechanical engineering, you need knowledge from civil engineering, you need knowledge from aeronautical engineering, uh, um, from electrical engineering, and you also need knowledge from geospatial engineering not counting areas like physics, chemistry, and biology. And the university has uh, facilities in all those departments that can support uh, the study of aeronautical engineering. Needless to say, uh, we keep on uh, uh, adding on uh, to the facilities that we have to ensure that we have a credible program that can be considered to measure up with uh, general international standards of a person who has graduated with a bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering. Now, on, um, on the human uh, resource side, again, the institution inherited um, uh, staff from the former Kenya Polytechnic, although the majority of uh, these people could only teach at the diploma level, because that is what the institution was offering uh, at the time, in between, we have uh, hired more staff uh, with uh, uh, extensive professional experience and extensive academic experience. And uh, uh, these have added on to uh, what the institution had uh, previously. But on the other side, we have also uh, hired young people who have just graduated with uh, fresh bachelor degrees and master's degrees uh, from within ourselves and even from uh, abroad, from other universities. And uh, we give these uh, young people opportunity to acquire higher degrees and at the same time also to acquire the necessary experience as to be able to teach effectively as university teachers. We have a very elaborate program for uh, aeronautical engineering to develop uh, capacity um, within our staff development program and uh, we constantly uh, uh, send uh, young graduates abroad to acquire higher qualifications. We have a very, in fact, uh, external reviewers to the program, international reviewers, accrediting agencies, have rated the program to be of high quality in terms of its wide coverage. If they compare, for example, this program to others in the UK or United States, so that gives us the confidence that actually we are, we are offering something unique. Yeah, the Technical University of Kenya, uh, almost right from the beginning, uh, I think within our second year of existence on the degree program, already initiated very, very strong relationships with the, uh, with the, uh, the practitioners uh, in the aviation industry in this country. And um, uh, one of the uh, organizations we started off with almost immediately 
was Kenya Airways and I can say that we have a very, very good uh, relationship uh, with Kenya Airways. Uh, at the international level, uh, we have uh, partnerships with, uh, with Boeing, we have partnerships with General Electric who themselves were the people who uh, donated to us a whole aircraft uh, engine here. Uh, Boeing has taken our students for attachment both in Nairobi at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and uh, at their headquarters in Seattle in the United States. We have received, uh, uh, I think, people here from the Airbus company. Uh, we, have, uh, we are working on uh, linkages with um, universities in France. We have, most importantly, we have a very strong uh, linkage uh, with uh, the University of Cranfield in the, in the United Kingdom. And we work very closely with a number of airline companies at Wilson Airport. Graduates of this program may end up working research and development, testing, parts assembly, and maintenance of aerial vehicles for both commercial and military institutions. Kenya has the biggest economy in, the, uh, in East Africa today and uh, we have uh, one of the most vibrant aviation industry in the whole of East Africa. And uh, to a large extent, the people who run the aviation industry in this country have had to be trained elsewhere, to be trained abroad, especially at the area of uh, aeronautical engineering and maintenance of aircraft. And so we believe that we are going to uh, fill uh, a gap uh, that is critical to the development of the economy of this country and indeed the economy of this region. Our program is designed exactly to match those and also we got an eye to the future. So instead of doing what we do now, we started very well, but be able to expand it to cover areas like space travel, for example, or to cover uh, other programs, the training with piloting component, all being part of the program. It's going to be very exciting. Um, uh, a very exciting uh, uh, program for the next few years. We have already got a lot of interest in the public of people who want to sponsor their, 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 their children or their, their students uh, to come and study the subject here. But this is just the beginning and, 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 and we feel that uh, this has worked very well for us considering that the, this is one of the youngest programs at the Technical University of Kenya. But I should say that it is also one of our most successful uh, programs uh, at the Technical University of Kenya. Most of our students, um, uh, I think we have graduated the third, the, the third cohort uh, from, uh, from the degree program. And uh, we can say that most of our graduates have found uh, employment uh, within Kenya and abroad. And uh, so far, we are quite satisfied with uh, the quality of graduate we are producing and the type of program we are running, even as we are working towards always improving on the program itself. The broad field of aer aer aerospace and aviation engineering is, 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 can be very rewarding to those people who have the right qualifications because it is also a very, very competitive, uh, competitive field. And as the Technical University of Kenya, we are very proud that we are one of the few universities on the African continent offering programs in this area.